the main goals of our study were to show if we could shorter the time to neutrophil engrafment, the time to platelet engrafment, the incidence of bacterial, fungal, and viral infections, and also to show if there was any advantages in the 100 days alive and out to hospital of the patients transplanted with OVDUV cell. And uh, we achieved those goals. Thus, uh, we believe that OMIDUV cell should be, after this trial, the standard of care for patients who need a cold blood transplant. We were able to demonstrate that OMIDUV cell was capable of allowing a 100 to 130 expansion of the CD34 positive cells in the graft. And in the end, the median number of CD34 cells infused to the patient with omidubi cell was 9 per 10 to the 6 per kilo, whereas it was only 0.3 per 10 to the 6 per kilo in patients receiving a standard codes. And I, I would like to stress that this number of stem cells that are given in a transplant that is expanded with omidubi cell is greater than the one achieved with both bone marrow and peripheral blood transplantation from an adult donor. And uh, we uh, hypothesize that if we were able to achieve these very high numbers of stem cells in the graft, we could reduce the time to engraftment in patients receiving cold blood transplantation. And that was the case uh, because patients uh, receiving uh, omidubi cell had only 12 days to platelet, uh, sorry, to uh, neutrophil engraftment compared to 22 days in patients receiving a standard cold blood transplantation that in two thirds of the cases was a double cold blood transplant. And it was the same for platelet engraftment. And we were also able to show a 20% reduction in the number of bacterial and fungal infections in the 100 days after the transplant. And also in the days alive and out of, of hospital in, in patients transplanted with omidubi cell that was 61 days versus 40 days for patients receiving the control uh, transplant. And uh, we are very satisfied with the results of, of this trial. And, and we believe that omidubi cell will, be, uh, will receive a very fast approval by the FAD and, and the EMA uh, regulatory agencies.